Yeah, I've always defined the whip as 50% um, sergeant major in the army and 50% local pastor in the church. <laughs> so yes, there is that disciplinary role of making sure that, um, that people, that your team are aligned not only on uh, the policies of the party, but that they actually perform the key duties, that they turn up to select committees, that they're in the house when they need to be. Because actually, if they don't do those small details properly, it can be disastrous for the government. If we have uh, more people away than are allowed to be away on leave, and we have to vote down, we could lose a vote in legislation. If someone doesn't turn up to a select committee, the select committee can fall. So those details are really important. So that's, that's one side of the whip's role. The other side has actually been the shoulder to be able to come and cry on, because clearly the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, senior ministers don't have a lot of time uh, on their plate to deal with some of those issues. And look, MPs are no different to any other family in this country. They all have issues that um, they have to face. And so sometimes having a really strong trust and relationship with the, the senior whip is a great way to deal with some of the issues that, that don't necessarily need to be in the public eye. All it is is limited, you know, it's flexibility. Often, and I've seen it on many occasions, there'll be a, a policy that's uh, um, implemented. You take that back to your caucus and there's a furore. <laughs> People not happy with what's, what's the, what the rules are. Look, I've seen on a number of occasions where those uh, policies have been then been taken back to parliamentary service and some middle ground found uh, where everyone's comfortable with. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of give and take. But once the rules are decided, you know, we've got to stick to them. If there are issues with, with MPs spending, go and talk to them. And that's a, another key point I'd make as a whip. Never send emails to your colleagues demanding things. The best thing is to go face to face talk to them, if you're concerned about an issue, talk to them face to face. That face to face uh, relationship will always uh, work through the barriers that an, that an email doesn't, because email doesn't convey tone well. <laughs> Whereas face to face you can deal with much more complex issues. So I shall, I shall just okay. compose that now and give All that right. to you, and All that right. will get rid of that folder. Okay. Having good team members is important. I think if you're a, as any as you're a whip or a minister, you'll have some skill sets which you are, uh, you know you've got. There'll be other things that you might be a bit short on. And I think one of the key things is a good manager, whether it's in a whip's job or a minister's job, is knowing your strengths and your weaknesses and not being able to put your hand up and say, look, I've got some uh, shortfalls here and finding team members who can actually ha have the skill sets to um, fill those holes. So if accounting's a weakness, actually the whip's office, you need to be, you know, very, you, know you need to be up to speed with, with accounts. Uh, then if, if that's a weakness, make sure you've got someone in your team there that can fill that hole. Build trust, uh, build respect. Once you develop a level of mana, which actually, to, <laughs> You won't, be, you won't be a senior whip without having a level of mana within your caucus anyway, because your leader won't have appointed you to that role without having a level of respect with your colleagues. So you just got to keep building that, keep building that trust, and that'll bear with you as you make some, have to make some of the tougher decisions in the role.